uh, those people who don't understand this rivalry, can you describe it? It's just, I mean, it's it's in-house hate. I mean, you know, it's South Carolina, the two biggest schools, and, you know, we play each other and we don't like each other. And, I mean, it's just, if you're coming from out of state, you can, you quickly find out that, yeah, it's, it's a big deal. Is there a different feeling this week? I mean, we keep we try to keep the same intensity every week. Obviously, it's Clemson, so obviously, I mean, there's emphasis on that. But every week, we try to come in day in and day out with intensity. Who's playing Clemson on scout team? This week? Um, I want to say Doe is, but you know, Doe will be in there, but Slade Carroll will be in there too. We even have a couple GAs <laughs> running around. So I mean, you know, they just they they're shuffling that job up, but they're doing a great job. Yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> full experience. Yeah, got to. For for you, is this is this game a little more meaningful with how the last year's Clemson game went for you individually? I mean, this whole year has been meaningful for me. I mean, obviously that this is this is the game that I got hurt. So I mean, this I mean it's going to mean a lot. But every game this year, I've taken that stance so far. So I mean, it's it's pretty much the same. You know, when you look at USC and Clemson the last couple of years, what's been the biggest difference? You think? I mean, just we have to prepare and we've got to be ready for that moment. That atmosphere is it's it's something to talk about. But when you're in it, it's different. And I think that we're ready and we're adjusted to that. And I think it's going to show if you guys can win on Saturday. What will that do as far as putting a spin on this season? And um, when you look back on the season, maybe remember it in a little different light. I mean, obviously, that's a big I mean, that's a huge win. I mean, we've had a huge win already with Georgia. And I mean, another one would be great. And it's an in-state rival Clemson who we haven't beaten in a little while. So I mean, it would be huge. And yeah, I mean, people would <laughs> there are people who still just come up to me and say, just beat Clemson. So I mean, yeah, it would mean a lot. Danny, what do you need to hear in a pregame speech to go out and play your match? <sighs> I want to hear, for me, I'm not big on the rah-rah and just everything, just like yelling just to yell. Me, I mean, this is a job. You know, you've got to be ready to do your job. And, I mean, if we can talk about what we've got to do and just talk about doing our jobs at high levels, then that's really all I need to hear. What, going back to high school or junior high, whenever you played, what's the best speech that you ever heard? What got you the most ready to go play? That's a good question. t Rob has gotten real good at those speeches. I, mm. He gave a great speech before Georgia. That's one I'll definitely remember in college. In high school, right before uh, it was the semifinals, uh, my coach Khan, he gave us a, a – his him and his dad gave us a speech right before we played Colquitt, and that was crazy. But, yeah, those, those are the top two I can remember. What kind of things did they say? Uh, T-Rob and your high school coach, that can be cleaned up. T-Rob, oh yeah, <laughs> T-Rob just, you know, he just let us know about how we've been working towards this and how this is something that we've wanted to do and how we've earned the, the right to be on this field and to win this game. And back in high school, my coach just talked about how we were the littler guys and just how he played that role and overcame it, and that was really inspiring. What's it like facing Coach Khan? <laughs> it's crazy, you know, and he's been coaching there for a little while now, and I've been wanting to, to get over and say something to him, but I never catch him either. We're doing something in the locker room where they are, but, you know, it's crazy. It's a small world, and he deserves it. That's a great guy. You faced teammates, I guess, before college too, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Plenty, yeah. Plenty of teammates. How, how is that like when, when you're going against a friend or, or, you know, a guy that you've, you know, battled with and, and having to, you know, it's yeah, it's a good feeling, and you know when we're playing in the middle of the game, I don't really think about it like that. They're just another person on that other team. But when we're in there and like it's it's the game's over, like it's great to just go and talk to those guys and just catch up. What have you seen from Clemson on film that you guys have been able to watch? They just they they run the ball. They want to run the ball to establish their throw. They're going to take shots down the field and they're going to try and throw screens. They have a real they have an idea of what they want to do already, and we're just ready to attack that. Do you feel like the extra coach Mustam talked about doing some game plan stuff last week? Do you guys feel that that's going to be an added benefit for you guys? Always. If you ever have a bye, coming off a bye week, just having that extra week to prepare for somebody, yeah, that's definitely an advantage. So, kind of take me through that. You guys, did you guys fully install? Game no, plan. we just, I mean, we, we threw some stuff in there that may have been new that we hadn't seen during the year or in camp, and they just threw that at us just so it wouldn't surprise us this week and just got us ready. So what's this week going to be like? Yeah, is it just reinforcing some of those things and finishing up game plan stuff? It's more so like introducing the actual game plan. Last week was more so just like touching on some things that we were thinking about doing and just getting ready, getting our minds in that, in that, uh, in that mode, and now it's just tightening everything up.